Hey guys, it's Toy Hunter Tony here with episode 24 of Behind the Hunt podcast. Hey, our podcast is where we talk about uh, various things in our hobby. And uh, we also show you some cool things that are coming up from future videos. Uh, check that out. Uh, Michael and I put that together. Uh, Nikki got tired of looking at it. it. Looked like he said it looked like we were standing in front of a drive-in theater. That's our light. So when we do our videos, but no, it's Godzilla. So if it's a drive-in theater, we're watching old Godzilla flick. Nick, <laughs> thanks for being here. And then plus, I got my doggy. She's sleeping. But um, uh, busy week. Uh, we just got back from the uh, tournament. Uh, it was a Sunday Monday tournament. But Marion left Monday for. Uh, California. Hey, Marion. Hope you're doing well. Um, I asked if there were any comic book stores near where she was going, but they're in a, uh, a business trip. Yeah, business trip out in the middle of nowhere uh, <laughs> because of the company she works for. Yeah, sucks for her being in air conditioning. It's like 93 degrees here, and she's like, oh, it's 70 degrees here. And then she drove inland about 40 minutes, and it's 100 degrees. <laughs> Welcome to California, honey. But um, so she's gone for the week. It's just me and the boys. Um, Max and uh, Bethany, hey guys, hope you're doing well, are going to Atlanta this weekend to see Def Leppard, uh, Journey, and uh, Steve Miller Band. So they're excited about seeing that. Plus, uh, Michael's birthday this weekend. Uh, Nick and Sierra and uh, Jack. Marion and I and Mike are going to go surprise him. Hope you're not watching this, Michael. Shit. <laughs> that didn't work. And uh, and then uh, Jackie's leaving to go to uh, App State Wrestling uh, Camp. Uh, he's excited about that. Last year, after the first day we had to get him, that's when he had injured his um, Adominus erectus. It's one of your main muscles that goes down the center all the way down. Uh, it's unusual, but I think that had to do with recovery from his surgery, and uh, I, I don't know. It's just bizarre. So he was disappointed, didn't get to finish last year's, and then um, didn't get to wrestle. So then this year, he's going back, and he's healthy and ready to go. Hey, Jackie, hope you're doing well. Have fun. And then what else? Is that it? That's it, right? All right. Oh, Holland. Holland's made it to the semifinals. Uh, looks like Spain had won their quarterfinal match or semifinal match, and they're going to the championship, which is next Sunday. And then um, Holland and England are playing each other. We're a big uh, Dutch fan. My wife's Dutch. My boys are half Dutch. Uh, they're they're that Dutch. They're that much Dutch. I don't know. That's half. I don't know. All right, we're done talking about us. So we came across some really cool. Um, whew, what the hell was it? So we've got, did you guys know, Five Below, we do comic book reveals. And Five Below, she, the woman told me last summer they had these DC four packs. I, I don't remember seeing them, but what was cool, there's a blank cover here. Uh, we don't know what it is. We can't manipulate it. There's a silver foil one in here. So I can't wait to see here. It's a four pack. But I did notice this, look at that. Uh, we love Harlequin. And that's the 30th anniversary Harlequin number one, oversized. It's like a $10 comic book. And um, we have no idea what's in there. And then this last one, it's got a dollar special Joker on the back. Joker number one, which is awesome mini series. But then it's got a grain spine of the Harlequin. So it's a variant. So it looks like we'll get a couple variants out of that one. And then we did go back to Ollie's, if you did not know. Uh, some of my fellow toy hunters I have channels in their ollies those two pack Marvel Legends the newer ones are starting to show up they're discounted so I got all excited I went there I'm looking for Thor versus um, Destroyer the Hawkeye where he's on his air bike and a couple other ones but they hadn't gotten to our store yet but what they did have is they had some more of their uh, comic book super value pack this has got a hardback <laughs> Uh, graphic novel in there. I've never heard of of uh, uh, decoy menagerie. I have no way, no idea what that is, but uh, it's got some comic books in it. We'll open that up in a future video. I've never seen these tiny little digests. Ninjak number one. The Superman's in a bag and board. So evidently they buy collections and prep these for Ollie sales. 
So you never know what we're gonna find in there, another digest. So we'll check it out. And last but not least, our local Walmart got some more, more seven for tens. You guys know, follow the channel. Uh, there is a new comic on the top. There's two three packs on the inside. Whether they're new or old, we don't know until we get in there. But uh, that is a Pride Month variant for Star Wars. I, I didn't have that one. And then Knights of X. That was a mini series from last week, uh, last week, last summer. Can't wait to look into that one. And this is a Nuck. Uh, variant of Ghost Rider which is gorgeous so I can't wait we'll open that up we've got lots of videos that we have prepped and ready to go but we've got uh, episode 248 uh, it's shot and ready to go look for that coming up soon that is the top 10 from the hunt that we just went to from hello comics turned out to be a really good hunt you got to check out that video uh, we did really well. We had a couple misfires, which you, I'll de detail in the video. But it turns out there were some good um, pickups. So you got to go back and watch episode 248 of uh, our top 10. See what we got from uh, from our Hello Comics run. Uh, I think that's it, Nick. Uh, I know. All right. So one of our local comics uh, stores is called Sailfish. It's capital S, little s, A-L-E-F-I-S-H. Uh, they're located off of uh, Wendover in Greensboro. They're in Winston-Salem and in Concord, North Carolina. I do know, hey, Stephen, Jay, Mike, how are you doing? Hope you guys are doing well. But uh, they just picked up, they acquired a huge collection, action figures and comic books. And they're starting to kind of process them and bring stuff out. I picked these up. There is a big, uh, if you go back and watch episode 248, there's a, a bastion. Uh, there's a character that starts off from Stephen Lang's consciousness in the master mold. I went into great detail, but then I also mentioned a uh, phalanx. So Nimrod, Nimrod and master mold went together and, and they end up coming into phalanx character, which this character leads into the creation of bastion. So I was really excited. This is a Toy Biz line. Uh, this is series one from 1995. I was able to get a complete set. Uh, I just thought that was cool. It tied in with that Hulk annual number seven with the history of Stephen Lang, Master Mold, Nimrod, uh, and then uh, Phalanx. All right, cool. And this is a huge figure. Look at that. This is uh, Mondo, pretty cool. That is series two. But that is nice. I don't know where I'm going to put these, Nick. We were able to get uh, pennants. That is a nice one. Try not to blind you. But we'll go through. Uh, they did. They did. Uh, I did get a good deal on these. Uh, plus, they're. I think if you buy four, you get get uh, the fifth one free. But look at that. This is a protector. I'm not, I don't remember Gen X. I don't remember reading the comic book, but I know who the hell the White Queen is. She's from the Hellfire Club. I know she appeared in one of the Wolverine movies. I, actually, that was the Wolverine movie that uh, the original Deadpool. <laughs> that, was, that was a rough movie. But look, Chamber, it's a nice one. It says Toy Biz Implate. Impl I think it's Arm Stretch. It's pretty cool. And then we've got a couple more I want to show you. Marrow, marrow, like bone marrow, skin, a couple good figures. And then we're getting down to the real reason I, I got these. This is a purple version of Wolverine. Had to pick that one up. I like that one. I think uh, I do have a copy of that one in that collection that I got. I still haven't done a video for that one. Nick's like, we got so much stuff to do. But look, I got this. This is a two pack. This is Marvel Legends 3.75. This is uh, Dark Avengers. So that I think that's Venom dressed up as not dressed up, but as Spider-Man. And this Wolverine is actually Dakin, uh, the son of Wolverine. It's when uh, the leader is Iron Patriot. That is Norman Osborn. So we should see the Dark Avengers. I think Thunderbolts will lead us into Dark Avengers. So that will be cool. So I had to pick that up. And because you know what's going on in a couple weeks, Deadpool, look at that. This is one of those Marvel Legends oversized figure. It's gorgeous. Extra weapons. I like this one. Foil box. 
can't wait to see what that one's worth, but that was a good pickup. And then last but not least, we got, look at this, this Jubilee. And I was trying to find a good Jubilee figure because Jubilee's prominent in the new uh, X-Men 97 episodes. We're up to number five. Nikki's, Nikki hasn't even started watching yet. Michael, I think, has watched the whole thing, but we got to finish it. Just too much stuff to do. But that's a beautiful looking Jubilee. I, I had to get that one. And then um, when we went into our Walmart and found those packs, this is a bonus. Look at that. That is, it looks like a comic book. I thought it was a comic book and I couldn't, I couldn't wait, but it's actually a plaque. But the lenticular effect, is, it's so good. Look at that, that is just awesome. That's a tribute to, um, I think it's Hulk 340, where uh, show, they show Wolverine's claws and the reflection, you see the Hulk coming at him. So that's been redone a whole bunch of times. I picked that up. That is in a shipper back in the um, movie, the movie area at Walmart, and they have like various toys clothing just a weird it's a weird shipper and that was in it caught my attention that's it i wanted to share that all with you hope you guys are doing well hope you had a good safe fourth of july we're moving into the middle of july here we've got some good videos coming up we'll have a bunch of stuff ready to go we're uh going on vacation at the end of the month and i can't wait to go stop by a comic book store on the way to the beach marion i know you love me but uh Lost Boy Comics. We finally are going to the right location. I thought they were located in Hickory, but they're out near Jackson, I think County, headed out towards the beach. So we're gonna make sure I'll have a video and some, you know, I'll accidentally find some things to purchase when we go there, but I can't wait. Lost Boy, uh, yep, t tell, tell Charlie I sent you if you go by there. Love that store. Uh, all right, we're out of here. Nick, what do you say? Oh, always, he says, see ya. And I'll say on the next hunt. All right, guys.